Hello, this is the experimental startup video, and we're going to start by turning on the faucet for the condenser. And now we're going to load the working fluid into the heat pipe. We're going to do this by putting the working fluid into the pipe sticking up with the valve on the bottom of that pipe closed. Now to make sure that there is no air in the pipe, make sure to fill the working fluid up to the top of the other valve and then shut it. And now we're going to vacuum out the heat pipe. We're going to do this by opening the two bottom valves and turning on the vacuum pump. And once we get to the desired vacuum, we will shut the right bottom valve and then turn off the pump. And now we are going to load the working fluid into the heat pipe. We're going to do this by opening up the bottom valve of the measuring pipe and then lifting up and moving the heat pipe a little bit to try and get the fluid to go down. And now we're going to check and see if the working fluid went down. We're going to do this by shutting the bottom measuring valve and opening the top valve to see if it went in. It did not. And so we're going to retry. Also, one thing to note is when adding the working fluid, if the pressure goes up, we know that the measuring pipe had air in it, and it was not full of the working fluid. Another thing to note is you can add the working fluid and then vacuum out the air by using the two bottom valves. You can do this by adding the working fluid, closing both bottom valves, and then turn on the vacuum pump. Then you open up the right valve, wait for it to vacuum out, shut it, open up the left valve, and then close it, and then open up the right valve again, and going back and forth until you have a near vacuum. However, with this you do run the risk of losing some working fluid to vaporization. And now that we have the working fluid loaded, we are going to turn on the program and check to make sure that all thermocouples are type J and that all the thermocouples are being read by the program. And now we are going to check to make sure the power supply is on the right channel and that we have our power input by putting in the voltage. And now we're going to check and make sure everything looks correct on the program and everything is operational for the heat pipe. And then we're going to run the program and start collecting data. Now that we wait a few seconds, we're going to make sure everything looks like it's recording correctly and that the heat's going up. And that concludes the operation startup.